What's up, everybody? Dunsparce for the win here again. Um, we're on episode three now of Okay, Yanova. Yeah, this episode we're gonna be meeting the new, the new gang of this region, and listen to this awesome music that they have. Everyone. I am Gachisu, Gachisu of Team Plasma. What I have to tell you all today concerns the liberation of Pokemon. Huh? What? We humans have lived together with Pokemon. We require things from each other and consider some partners. All would seem to think this is the case, in fact. Yet, is it really true? We humans all entertain only that same thought. Has there never been the consideration that it might not be? Trainers order Pokemon to do whatever they please. They work them hard under the, gu the guise of being partners. What if that were to be prevented by someone to clearly divide them? Huh? Gasp! What? Don't you agree, everyone? Pokemon are creatures whose sheer potential is limited by humans. We are beings who feel that they must study a great many things. But what should we humans do to be ambassador to the oppressed Pokemon? What? Liberates? Did he say liberate? I don't think so. Correct! We must liberate the Pokemon! And once we do, humans and Pokemon will for the first time stand as equals. That's where he says liberate. Everyone, please do consider what must be done to properly, properly get along with Pokemon. And thus I, Kachisu, conclude my speech. Thank you for your attention. Everyone, this is Team Plasma, the leaders of the the new gang of the Unova region. And they're basically evil, as always. Old man, that speech. Hmm, what should we do? Liberate Pokemon? Now that's a crazy idea. And then they're going to all walk away, and then it'll go black. And some young man will walk over and have some really cool music. Dot, dot, question mark, question mark, question mark. Your Pokemon. They speak to me. Boy, you talk fast, don't you? Also, they speak to you? What an odd thing to say. Yes, they do. So, perhaps you cannot hear them. Pitiable. My name is N. Well, I'm Charon, and this is G. Haha, <laughs> we have we both have one letter names. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, so we're on a journey to do that. Though my primary Though my primary goal is to be the champion. The Pokedex? Hmm. That would require a great many Pokemon to be imprisoned in Pokeballs. I too am a trainer, but I am always doubting. Am I making my Pokemon happy, I ask? Hmm, gee? Was it? Let me hear more of your Pokemon's voices. Wait, wait, that was a, that was a thing for battle? That's a little weird. I I think that's a little weird. But basically, he goes down pretty easily. He's got a core Neko, which is the cut. <laughs> as many people as I'd like to come to call them. So, Boone's just gonna water gun it a few times, and it should go down pretty easily. You lose to this thing, um. Well, I gotta say, I'm sorry. You kinda suck. More! Let me hear more from your Pokemon. Yeah, Ed's a little psychotic. He's creepy psychotic. Not just psychotic psychotic, he's creepy psychotic. But this thing's just scratching us and we're just water gunning it. And then we're gonna tackle it. Which, I brought this up before, but I like that they brought it up to 50 power and 100 accuracy. It makes tackle really good. And... We get 118 experience, and Boon levels up to level 8. There are Pokemon who would say such things. Yeah, N's a little creepy. Restrained to imprisonment in Pokeballs. Pokemon cannot be perfect creatures. For the sake of my friends, the Pokemon, the world must be changed. What a weirdo. But don't worry, it's alright. Trainers and Pokemon always help each other out. Well, I'll go on ahead. Off to the next town. I want to fight Sanyu 
City's gym leader. You should battle through the gym leaders too. The best way for trainers to get stronger is to challenge the gym leaders across the land. Yeah, basically the same old speech as always. I'm gonna go heal up quick, and then we're going to make our way to the next to the next town, which is Sanyu City, as Charon just said. So we're just healing up over here and Yeah. We're just healing up. Let's see, your Pokemon are all fit and healthy. We hope to see you again. And actually, let's buy a few items now that we actually have money. Oh, we can only buy a potion and Pokeballs. Okay, well, we'll wait to the next city then. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this, guys. In guys and girls, this game is pretty interesting because in every city, they have something interesting involving the music. You see here, this girl's at the piano. Shall I play you one of my favorite songs? Yes! To ho ho Well then, do listen! The music changed! You can talk with people and they'll add their... And they'll add their own music into the town's beat. It's really cool. Yeah, I think it's really cool that they add their own beat and stuff into into the town's music. And I try I don't think all towns have it, but the majority of them do. And we're just walking through here and walking over here. Oh, the live caster is ringing. Wonder who it could be. G connected to the live caster. Oh, mother. Hello. Looking fine as ever. It's mom. How are you doing over there? Are you starting to realize how fun it is to s get along with Pokemon yet? I just wanted to try out the live caster, but you can turn it off now, okay? <laughs> okay. Gee, I finally caught up. You're already this far, huh? Professor Araragi told me you were probably heading for Sanyu City around now, so here's another present for mom. Gee, put these on, and she'll give you the running shoes. I actually am starting to think that this game isn't full cool anyway. I like that. That's pretty cool. Gotta thank for Fable 919 for that. Thanks, Clef. That this really helps out. But, yep, now we got our running shoes, which, unlike in, unlike in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, there is no button to hold down the running shoes, and also, Pokemon don't appear easier if you're running through the black grass. It's just trainers turn towards you, as always. But, yeah, I thought that was a cool idea from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. But, yep, we're just fighting some Minazumis right now. Boone's gonna water gun them to death, and they're gonna be stupid. But they learned some good attacks real early. Yeah, that's the thing about this game. The Pokemon, they learn good... If there are... If they learn good attacks, they learn them early. Like, this thing... He, he evolves at level 16, I believe, and learns Crunch at level 17. Like, what? That's, a, that's like amazing! Crunch at level 17. And we're just running over here, here's another trainer, and she's all like, yay! I just love Pokemon battles! My lovey-dovey Pokemon are gonna do their lovey doveyest And this is Last Mary, and she's got a Coroneco. Cute little kitty cat! Yeah! I gotta... I like Coroneco, but it's... It doesn't learn good attacks at all. All it learns are dark and normal type attacks. And sand attack. That's it. By level up, at least, it's kind of horrible. Gotta admit. We're just gonna tackle, and it's gonna go, go down. And then Boone's level 10, nice! 
Um, I actually think I'm going to make a very hard attempt. I'm going to attempt to take out the gym. I'm going to attempt to take out the gym with only boom. Which, if any of you know, the gym has three different gym moves. They have four, they have the monkey. The, they have three new monkey Pokemon in this game. Um, I forget what they're all called, but... Yeah, there's three new monkey Pokemon in this game. And they have... The gym leader that you're going to fight has the monkey that's strong to yours. So, it's a pretty tough gym, I've gotta admit, but the easy way out to beat that gym is you can pick up the monkey that is weak to you, but will be strong to the gym right inside the forest, right outside the town, which I would love to pick up the monkey, but I don't think I'm gonna. Um, maybe, but I'm not gonna use it. Only because that gym is pretty tough, actually. Utery! My Utery! Good Utery! <laughs> That's the dog, if any of you haven't gotten that yet. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool, fully translated. I like it! I haven't seen a single Japanese yet, and I'm liking that a lot. Um... Unfortunately, I'm not gonna put special music or anything like I did in Ruby version for rival battles, though, because they happen so often that I just can't do that all the time. So, sorry everyone, but I'm not doing that. And it sounds like my father is home now. And look, two items in one area. This is awesome. A Pokeball and a Potion. That is just awesome. And walk up here. Hey, gee! Oh, great. It's Bell. Hey, what do you want, Bell? Hey there, let's Pokemon battle. I caught some new Pokemon and got them a lot stronger. Well, let's begin. Okay, Bell. Well, Bell's gonna battle you and she's gonna be all like, oh, I want to battle you, and you're going to so lose, but I'm not going to lose because I'm so much better than you, because I have a level 10 Mijumaru, and you have, like, a level 8 Pokeboo, so it kind of is horrible. Oh, but that Yudori is strong. Ah, oh, come on, really? Potion? Why? Um, hmm, I might just tackle again. Yep, and Uteri goes down. And now I have a level 11, B and now Boone's level 11. And she's gonna send out our Pokeboo, which is go gonna go down pretty easy. Water gun! And it goes down in one shot, yeah. It's pretty easy. But yeah, that's Bell, and I think I'm gonna cut off it right there, right here, after she's done talking. So, that's it for this episode. See you all next time. Mm -hmm.